If you're a human, then you're aware that humans are freaking weird. We're fragile, floppy, androgynous beings with hair on the tops of our heads, around our pelvis, pelvi, but, but no hair elsewhere. We all kind of look the same, so we wear different clothes and have different hairdos to make us feel special. Humans are pretty hideous as a species overall, so why do we have pretty people? Misinformation. Hey y'all, welcome to Misinformation. I'm Chris Wyden, and I miss my childhood stuffed animals. It's widely accepted through empirical evidence and good old research that symmetry is generally what tends to be attractive to people. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. Symmetrical faces are pretty faces. But why the Helen Von Bonham Carter is that the case? Well, it turns out that biologically, humans and many other animals are highly attuned to symmetry in the world around them and in each other. She has this ugly crying face that she makes. You're sitting there laughing. It's not humans, along with most animals are bilaterally symmetrical, meaning that if you split us down the middle, one half is going to be a mirror of the other half. You have one eye on each side of your face, not two eyes on one side and seven eyes on the other. Scientists think our natural symmetrical design leaves us in a perceived world of symmetry. People, animals, insects are all bilaterally symmetrical, so it makes sense that we would think about things that are more symmetrical as more attractive. What's your favorite look these days? What would you want to go out in? Not like to the store, but go out, out, like to the grave. So it seems that someone like Kim Kardashian or Angelina Jolie or David Beckham are destined to be seen as attractive due to their unusually high degree of symmetry. That's crazy. Anyway, how was your, were you a mammoth? So it seems that someone like Kim Kardashian or Angelina Jolie or David Beckham are destined to be seen as attractive due to their unusually high degree of symmetry. But is this the way that we should be approaching things? Because humans favor symmetry in more categories than just visual aesthetics. Life is so crazy and hectic. Physicists find symmetry everywhere. Many of our core concepts about light, gravity, electromagnetism, and more are based around mathematical symmetry. Meaning if you do a specific operation and something doesn't change, it's symmetrical. Now because symmetry is built into many of our natural laws about the universe, there is merit to the idea that there's some sort of cosmic symmetry. After all, we use these natural laws to build skyscrapers, travel to outer space, and so on. And if these laws are partially based around the assumption that there is some symmetry to virtually every force in the universe, then it would seem that symmetry is just a natural element of our existence. But what if it isn't? But can I give you, can I give you one piece of advice? Okay, you're doing it wrong. Clearly symmetry is important to understanding the world we've built and the universe around us. But is there more to it than that? If humans have a symmetry bias from sex appeal to physics, are we overlooking other guiding principles in favor of what is most readily apparent? Mario Livio, an astrophysicist at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, has asked this very question. I got a question, Doc. Should we be concerned that our preference for symmetry is biasing our perception of the world and the universe? Not only in how we assess beauty, but also in how we think about and study everything. His concern is not that we're wrong about physics or science, it's that we might be missing big parts of the picture if we're not checking our perception biases. Symmetry surrounds us, so it makes sense that humans might think about it as natural or even correct, when that might not really be the case. So questioning our human perceptions is important to opening the gate to potentially groundbreaking discoveries. It's about radiation. You're gonna die anyway. You understand that, right? Die with a good Snapchat. But back to our original question. Why do we find people attractive? It's fair to say that the answer is symmetry because that's what studies indicate about our unconscious attraction biases. But I think it's important to clarify that symmetry is not what makes anyone attractive. She's the least exciting to look at. Like the many mysteries of the universe, there's way more to a person than that. Especially when it comes to your mind's snap judgment of how well one side of someone's face mirrors the other side. Okay, bye. Let's take a look-see. Hate your hair. Not likely. Yikes. 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 And let me guess, you have a great personality. 